Hello everybody. Here we have a video about the brakes, the hydraulic brakes for a Genie Z45 Cherry Picker. That's the machine that lifts you up and down the front of buildings so you can fix the roof and the chimneys etc. Well you probably know they are totally hydraulically driven. There is an engine but everything is done by hydraulics. A bit like a bulldozer and tractors and what have you. Anyway Here's one of the brakes I've taken off to rebuild. Uh, this is as it would come off the machine and it's totally complete. I haven't taken it apart. There is only one hydraulic pipe connection. That is at the top. There you can see it. High pressure oil goes in there. Now, how do these work? If there's no fluid, if the engine isn't running, if there's a problem and there's no hydraulic pressure, these brakes lock up solid for safety. So if anything goes wrong, the brakes will stop the machine. As long as they're working, of course. And these ones started not work because they're very old and damaged. But you can repair them, and I'm going to show you how. You take these off with the machine as it stands on the ground. You don't take the wheels off. You don't have to jack it up. There's these two large bolts. Go through there. Take those out. The whole thing comes apart. You obviously have to disconnect the uh, pipe. Get a tray, get a bucket. You will probably have hydraulic fluid dropping on your feet. Get lots and lots of old towels to mop anything up. Get some gloves. Keep everything nice and clean. Right, this is the one side. This is the side most inwards. This drive has the drive from the hydraulic motor. The other side, hold on, hold on. The drive goes straight through, out the other side, into the torque hub. So although that doesn't look very big, because of the torque hub, it doesn't have to be huge, because there's a tremendous reduction. I don't know what the reduction is, 20 to 1, 30 to 1. Just say it was 20 to 1. A ton of pressure on there would put 20 tons of pressure on the road. So that's why they don't need to be gigantic. They're doing an easier job, a bit like using a crowbar. Anyway, here's the horrible one we've taken apart. Four bolts, take them out, it comes apart. There are springs, I'll show you in a minute, there are springs that will push it apart a few millimetres so you can separate it. Now, first thing is, the oil pressure goes in there, as I told you. That pushes this piston out. This piston has seals on the outside and seals on the inside. So in the rebuild kit, we'll get two rubber seals for that, put them in, put it back together. These have actually snapped. They're supposed to be one piece, not snapped in two. That shows how much work this machine's done. So in the kit, you'll get two new ones of those, obviously looking slightly better than this. They will be fitted in here. Now, hold on. This is the drive, the drive in, the drive out. It's not fitted. You can take it out without even taking this apart. It fits in there like that. You can just take it out. You don't have to touch it. Now, where this goes through the machine, rubber seal in the bottom, all horrible and broken up. So you get a new one of those in the kit. Then those two plates, they get sandwiched in here. Take one off, one sandwiched between that and that, and one sandwiched between this one and that one. I'm not sure if you get those new in the kit, but they should be okay in any case. Now, this big plate, it's quite thick. Take that out. Oh, is that three quarters? No, sorry, quarter of an inch thick, something like that. And underneath that are springs. And now you can see that seal a bit better that's horrible. Well, these springs are also horrible. Uh, the heat's got to them, old age has got to them. So some are high and still quite good. Some are low and not good at all. So what do we need? We need new springs. Clean it all out. Put in the new seals. Put in the new springs. Put it all back together in the right order. Don't forget to put the new seals on here. Everything nice and clean. Spotlessly clean, in fact. Do a damn good job. And lo and behold, you've saved a lot of money. And you've got some new brakes, which you will need because the machine weighs seven and a half tons. And if you're going uphill, down dale, parking on a hill, having good brakes is a rather good idea. There we are. If you've got Genie, and I'm assuming the other Genies are exactly the same. This one's 2000, so all around that age, they'll have probably the same brakes. Maybe bigger, maybe smaller, depending on the machine. 
but they will all, I would think, go together, operate and be repaired in the same way. There we are. If you've got a genie machine, I hope this has helped you. OK, time for that famous cup of tea and we keep on with the work. Catch you later. Bye.